Hey guys, JT here with another quick video of an RC car that I have here. <clears throat> this is the actual Tamiya Grasshopper, and this is the original version. Um, this is the one that came out in the early 80s, so it is a vintage model. Um, it does have the upgraded speed control in there, and I'll take this off in just a minute. But I want to show this um, to you guys. I do have um, a AM radio <laughs> for it, our for it um, that I'm going to run in this car as well. This is a Traxxas one, of course. Um, it's one of the ones I kind of had laying around and just kind of bring me back to some of the vintage models. You see how long that antenna is. Excuse some of this other mess. These are other projects I'm working on uh, back there, but I wanted to show this to you guys. If you guys have ever had one of these um, before, you kind of remember the memories back in the early 80s, mid 80s, and even late 80s and early 90s with some of these cars. Brings back a lot of memories with this. Um, I never had one. Um, I never at that time really wanted one. Even today, I kind of didn't. But I saw this, and it was you know a really good um, deal to go ahead and get it. So went ahead and got it, and built it up, and got it functioning pretty well. It does not have ball bearings in it. Um, I may at some point because you see that barely spins there. I may at some point put ball bearings. It only needs six. Um, I think eight. Uh, two in the front and two in the rear, which is going to be eight. And I think it uses some five by eight in the transmission as well. I have yet to put the stickers on because I'm debating if I'm going to paint this um, or not. I may just leave it white. I'm not 100% sure. And, of course, it has the guy in there as well. So I may paint him or I may just put some stickers on him as well. I'm not 100% sure, but let me get this body off real quick. Show this to you guys. Um, let me get this out. I'm doing this with one hand. I only put two screws in here right now to hold this body down. So there's no body clips, of course, with this. So, but it does use these screws, and the battery hooks up right there. I'll show this to you guys. And actually, comes in or comes out through the bottom of it. So. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't put the screws all the way up in here yet. Because I'm trying to debate of what color I'm going to actually paint this thing. But look on the inside of it. <clears throat> Pretty standard basic, um, especially back in the day for that. You see I put the new Tamiya um, TBLE02, if that'll focus in some. There we go. Speed controller in there. And, of course, I said it has the Traxxas, old school Traxxas. Uh, radio and this is a generic servo, but this servo is actually pretty good um, This has the 380 motor in it. Yes, 380 size. I have a 540 around here somewhere I'm probably put the 540 in there, but I think I'll run this with the 380 first I'm not really gonna run this hard, but I'll probably take it outside uh, Maybe run it in the street some but not try to bash it up too much because it still is a vintage car the battery does fit in underneath here, so you basically pull this up, pull that back, and you pop this battery out here. This is a 4200, so if I ran this thing, I'd probably get probably about, especially with this motor, maybe about an hour run time um, or so, because the motor's, you know, a very, 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 very mild turn motor. Uh, I'll put that on a little bit later on. But I remember back, <clears throat> excuse me, back in the day when I had gotten my Monster Beetle, a friend was gonna get the Hornet, and one of the difference between this and the Hornet is going to be, of course, the body that comes with them. And it's also going to be the tires and wheels. The Hornet had larger tires and wheels. It wasn't too much larger than this, but they were bigger than these. I'm not sure what the diameter this is. I know that's, of course, it's smaller than a 1.9. I think it's smaller than 1.6. So, um, But it is somewhat upgradable um, to Hornet tires if you want it. You can probably even try to find some hex adapters to put on there. And also the motor, the, ho the Hornet comes with a 540. This came with a 380. This right here is the original speed controllers they would come with. It was a manual or mechanical, as they say, speed controller where it had three speeds going in forward and then one speed in reverse. Uh, back in the day, if this thing got a little dusty and dirty, you would have problems. So you'd have to actually take um, a cotton ball and with some alcohol and kind of wipe these blades off. And then over time, of course, it would not work completely because um, you guys see how this thing is constructed there with that. 
Um, but anyway, I won't go into details about this because I won't ever use this, but I'll just keep this around, you know, just to have it around. Because like I said, this is a vintage car. It did come with the instruction or catalog that they had back in the day that displayed some of their information about some of their kits, blah, blah, blah. Tamaya always makes, to me, <clears throat> some of the more detailed kits. And they are kind of fun to build, to get them building up and stuff. But, you know, this is what they included back in the day with that. Um, other things, Tamaya, of course, they also have their great instructions, which is over there. I need to go look at that. But they have other things, too, which is always interesting to see. Kind of some of the stuff that they included with that. Um, this came with it as well. So it's kind of funny. They would, you know, have these little comics and stuff that they would include with it. Uh, of course, it's in two languages. So these are always interesting. I remember with uh, my Monster Beetle, it came with something similar to this. Look at that battery. That Hopefully that'll focus in. That they drew there. It's not focusing in too well, but there we go. So... I just remember those back in the day and seeing those. Um, you know, of course, more Tamaya stuff as well. Get this thing unfolded. Talk about pain and stuff like that. So they were pretty detailed when they actually um, sent these things out, which was really good. I mean, I enjoyed that Tamaya did things like this and gave you all the extra, as we so-called say, goodies because... Manufacturers really don't do this today. They don't give you a lot of extras like this, you know, pamphlets, manuals, booklets, and all that when you buy kits. I think I wish they would start doing this because this would also help with buying more kits, I think, if they did this, if people started adding more stuff to it, maybe just a little small catalog or something because it would help you think, hey, later on I'm going to get this car, get that car. These are the other things that they sell as well. I know online you can find a lot of stuff, but it's good to have this in the kit because you always can reference it at any point um, that you have it with you. So anyway, I want to show this to you guys. I'll be upgrading this to the 540 motor. Um, I believe if I put the 540 motor in here, I have to go to an 18 tooth pinion gear and this is 32 pitch gear. So I'm going to run it around with this. I ran it once for a few minutes and it's about as fast maybe a little slower than my rc18 um late model so i may actually race those two which would be kind of funny get a friend and set up a small track or something and race these two together so anyway i want to show this to you guys um i'll get a running video up pretty soon like i said i'm not going to really do any hard running with this I may just run in the tennis court or something but um as always don't forget to like or dislike subscribe if you have not, and put any comments below, and stay tuned for running videos. Thanks for watching.